Estee Soron Conan at computers.com with her video powder T. Oi, I have an Asus laptop with a problem. Might have a bad keyboard. It's an Acer. And I won't even show you the model number in case you have the same one or similar. It is an Aspire E1 47P6659. And it's running Windows 10, has Windows 10 installed. And a lot of the keys stick. The Q sticks sometimes, the U, the C, the M, also the F, and then I think the J. So it could be a faulty keyboard, hardware wise. I tried removing the driver that didn't fix the issue. It also could be a, a corrupt Windows 10 installation because there's missing drivers in, in Windows 10 when you go into device manager also whenever I try to mount a USB flash drive it will not mount it and overall the computers not running normally so it could be that or it could be hardware so I'm going to take apart just in case it's the hardware I'm going to reseat the ribbon cable that connects to the motherboard because sometimes that fixes issues with laptop keyboards not always but one but sometimes it does so I'll just flip it upside down you, all you need is a screwdriver preferably one that's magnetic a, a Phillips and the stickers are wearing off this has Windows 10 I don't know if it was upgraded it really doesn't matter it's activated I do not have to type any kind type in any kind of a certificate of authenticity product key when I go and reload it but I like to verify whether what was installed before on these laptops alright we're gonna have to as you notice it's just one cover I always take out the battery first and I never ever work on a computer that's plugged in and or powered on never never want to do that now let's see how the battery comes out. This is different. Hmm. It's got. Oh, there must be some screws here. One's missing. There's no release on this. And if you pull out, it's not coming out. So it must be. I'm thinking these two screws right here. I've never seen a laptop like this. Actually, most of them have releases. Some of them have two releases, one on each one one on each side of the battery and you you press out to release and then pull out. Some have just one one release. But this one I think might have two screws that holds the battery in place so we'll try those two screws and you don't want to lose the screws there's one set it aside you also might want to keep an eye and just observe the size of the screws sometimes these laptops have different size screws sometimes they're all this the same size it just depends on the model and make let's see if my nope I was wrong hmm there's there's screws here but I can't see how they would hold the the battery or unless it's stuck I don't think there's a release on the front I've never ever seen a laptop with no very strange well we're just gonna take off all the screws and I haven't had the power connected to the laptop in you know 10 20 minutes so and another thing you can do if you can't take out the battery I guess is just hit the power button on the laptop hold it for 30 seconds to a minute or whoops well I can't do that because let me power it off yeah this isn't this isn't good I'm thinking hopefully that when I take out all the screws, the battery will come out. So we'll just take off these screws. 
I don't prefer laptops like this where it's one cover unless it's like the Dells. The newer Dells have two screws in the middle and then the entire cover just comes off real easy even on some of the all in ones. That those I don't mind, but when it's these types where you got all these screws you got to take out, I don't really like these type of laptops, but that's how they're designed. I prefer laptops either like the Dell where it's two screws and it just comes right off real easily or there's separate doors. There's separate covers for the memory and a separate cover for the hard drive. And then as you notice this isn't this is a dummy. I don't know, I'm assuming you might be able to upgrade the DVD, but as you can see it's a blank. There's no DVD with this, but it does have a a dummy which is bizarre but whatever so we're just gonna unscrew all these you can use a an electric screwdriver I'm old school I just use a mic I just use my hand I don't need to sit here with an electric screwdriver if I had like a million laptops to work on every day I guess maybe it would make the job go by faster but you know A lot of my customers, I don't even open up the computers because I don't always get hardware tickets. But I do both. I do everything. All right, so there's a missing screw here. There's two missing screws here, so it looks like somebody's been working on this computer before. Here's another screw. These pop out, so they're going to all fall out. So you just make sure you loosen them up and then what you do is you flip over the the laptop now if I have screws I don't sit there and I collect screws but I don't sit there and sort them well you know this is for a minute god damn it Aaron you should be sorting your screws you should be labeling them too Aaron no it's not like I have a box of Acer screws and a box of Lenovo and a box of Sony and a box of Toshiba in a box up, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, but if I later on, I'm not going to do it on camera, but I do like, I do do that for my customers. If there's missing screws, I will try to find screws and I will even size them up and make sure they're, right, they're the right width and the right length because you don't want to strip th anything out. You want to make sure you get the right screws so that if your customer takes it to another repair tech or if they decided to work out and work on it themselves that you didn't fucking install screws that are stripped and then what happens is they're all, there can be very difficult to to take out and then your customer is going to be fucking pissed off because they can't get the cover off now there are ways you have to take pliers and but I don't want to you know that I don't want to digress about that but I will try to try to match up and what you can do is just lightly shake it and then the screws will pop out may but not all of them will be loose as you can see look you have all these screws so you m might want to do this on a workbench with a lot of room and you don't want to lose these screws I've never had a customer complain I've never lost screws for my customers so I don't know if they would if you return their laptop with missing screws if they'd yell at you or not but I prefer not to do that I have so many screws that I probably have some that will fit this laptop. Okay, I think they all. Oops, I I missed two. And see, let's see if the battery comes out yet. No, that is very. Um, maybe it's these two screws that hold in the battery. That's very odd. Well, I missed two. I think this one. and one up here that one I can pull right out with my fingernail I think or maybe not I will just turn it over there goes one one fell and this one 
is kind of stuck. Sometimes they stick, so you just have to make sure they're all the way loose. And then, yeah, it popped out. All right, so they're all out. Now, I'm thinking I might have to get a guitar pick, probably, yeah. I'll probably have to get a guitar pick. But what I'm really concerned with right now is this battery not coming out. That's going to be a problem. It must be these two screws, which is what I'm thinking. Most laptops I've ever worked on had releases. I have no idea why they designed it this way, but they, but it, they might have. Alright, so I'm just going to flip it over and they'll both, you heard both of them, they both dropped out. And then I just move them all into one pile so I don't lose them. And now, nope, the battery still, I'm not understanding why or how, I don't care at this point. Ouch. It's just, maybe it's it's stuck there's you notice how there's no latches for the battery there's none or or releases none now there's a, there's this for your finger so you can press down and pull it out but it is not moving very I don't know what the problem is I've got all the oop I'm missing a screw that one didn't fall out Another thing you can do is, if you don't want to lose the screws, is what you do is you put your hand underneath where the screw's at, and then you just tip it over, and then it'll fall into your hand. On certain carpet, these screws are hard to see. On gray or dark carpet, the screws blend in, and you may never find them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, like the carpet at those corporate surf you as a surf when you sit in the, your cubicle at those nasty billion dollar fascist corrupt criminal corporations you, you ever notice a lot of times the carpet's the same that's the type of carpet I'm talking about it's generally gray boring drab gray or dark carpet these screws and especially the ones that are even smaller you drop them on the carpet and you may never find them because they blend in you know what I'm saying alright so I have all the screws I think I'm gonna probably have to get a thumb or excuse me a guitar pick or maybe not you know what I should probably do it with a guitar pick so I'm gonna get a guitar pick which is for a computer actually I got it one for free from a kit when I repaired a I think I repaired a tablet computer. I'll be right back. Give me a couple seconds. I'm back. I should probably move all my tools back here, but I've got a cart now here over. I don't know if you can see it on the other. Can you see? Yeah. Let me move the camera a little bit. That's a cart that I got for free. Whoops. You can't hear me. Do you see that cart over there in the corner? I got that for free. Somebody set it out by the dumpster. They didn't throw it in the dumpster. They just set it out by the dumpster. And I was like, hmm. It's older. I looked at it. None of the wheels were broken. I brought it inside. It was a little bit dusty. I cleaned it up. And it's an excellent cart. It's got three. It's got two shelves underneath. One that's more room. I can fit a desktop computer underneath. I could probably fit two. Uh, probably three average desktop computers down below. And then it's got a second shelf. And then it's got a top shelf. So that's my little 
computer cart. <laughs> I got it for free. I didn't pay a dime for it. I was I was like, well, they threw it away, and I was like, eh, it's really not in that bad of shape. I could use a cart. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. It's a this one's broken, but I think I can still use it. The these are picks. You can get them for free, or you can buy them when you work with replacing and fixing screens on dumb devices. I mean, smart devices, also tablets. You'll need one of these, but also these are good for laptops because you do not want to take a metal screwdriver and start and do this to get the no because you'll scratch it all up trust me and the same thing with monitors you don't so what you do or when you when you replace the display and you take the plastic off you don't not want to use a metal screwdriver because you'll end it up end up sc scratching it all up and then your customers will notice it and they'll fucking tear you a new one so I'm just going to take the pick. I don't know if I can show this on camera because it's kind of hard to angle it. But you just take the pick and you run it you run it all the way across so that the plastic separates itself. And you do it on all sides until it becomes loose enough. Let's see. Okay, there we go. And it's 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 starting to just because you take the screws out doesn't mean this plastic doesn't snap together and it's tight so you just run the pick although this isn't really working very well I might have to use my fingernails there there we go make sure you take out all the screws before you do what I just did this is why you want to use a pick or maybe something like this but I would not recommend that you use metal because well you're, you'll just find out try it on your own and see what happens there this is probably something like this too this is a broken what I'm trying to think what this was it might have been kind of a pick like this a plastic tight I can't remember what it was it broke but I just use it because it it's plastic and it's kinda similar to a, a pick you could use a guitar pick if you had one you see, you see how I use this and it's not scratched up to separate the two pieces of plastic and to take this apart but I'm not done yet so you make sure that you take out all the screws before you you start to take the laptop apart because if what you what can happens is if you didn't take out this is just a dummy see it's just a filler <laughs> it's a dummy so this I threw that on the on the and I threw that out on the carpet. It's just plastic. If you start tearing apart the laptop and you forgot to take one of these screws out and you pull hard enough, you can snap the plastic. And then what happens is, it depends on where it's at, the customer might see it. Or when you put the, the laptop back together, it doesn't go back together correctly. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be really careful. Here's another one that I'm going to use this and you just I'm trying to let's see let me move the laptop so you just take up the device or the pick and you put it right there where it where the two pieces of plastic fit together and you just run it and it looks like this one or you can take the pick sometimes the gap is skinnier than other parts I don't know why that is there we go this pick might fit even though it's kinda of broke I'm gonna have to use my fingernails or my fingers so just oh this is being a bear working on laptop isn't my favorite thing but I've done this for years and you just become accustomed to them you just have to be careful and you just you just don't get emotional and you just you know take your time Let's see I might have to there it goes there it goes so everything's fine you another thing you want to be careful cautious of is when you start taking these laptops apart 
a lot of like the track the tracking device or the mouse pad and the keyboard are connected by ribbon cable so you don't just want to rip you you just don't want to take this cover and just rip it apart because these cables as you can see here on I think you might be able to see in there see the ribbon cable is still connected and if you pull this too far you can damage these cables and break them to the point where you have to reorder them because it's made out of plastic see it's made out of plastic ribbon cable and there's no way to that I know unless you're really good at solder but I don't even think technicians solder the cables so we almost got it done there could be one missing screw or something's not a hundred percent here so you know use caution but I'm close it could be up here and be careful with the display I might have to run it here somehow it's almost all the way apart but there's something just not a hundred percent here let me make sure I have all the screws oh you know what see I missed one but you notice how I didn't rip apart the laptop and I didn't just you know pull it apart I, I pull I used some you know a, assertiveness but I didn't just yank it so I missed one screw and what did I do it's in my pocket that's the last screw that's why it, it didn't come generally they come right off once they come off they just come right off if they're if you notice that the the bezel is not coming up and let me show you this the, as I unscrewed that last screw I could feel the keyboard move so this last screw is what screws in the, the keyboard so let me let's talk about that since we're doing it most keyboards in my experiences are held on by screws and generally the screws are these ones down here a lot of times they're marked Lenovo marks them I think Dell Acer this one doesn't have any marks you th th there will be little symbols like there will be a little keyboard next to each screw and that tells you that those are the screws that that hold on the keyboard it fell out it was right there now I should be able to take this out and it's starting to I just have to use a little bit of force but what I might I want to check I double check again that I got all the screws there's so many of them that's another reason why I don't prefer to work on these types of laptops but you learn nothing's underneath those pads because they're missing okay I think I got them all now it is possible that they're underneath the battery some Dells there are screws that will hold down the top bezel sometimes these come out where the where the power button is on Dells and they're held down by screws down here now this battery is not coming out but I got all the other screws so what we can do is let's see that might be as far as I go, but I that's not good enough because it's gonna be a pain in the ass pain in the ass to get my hand in there. Let me see. I think I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to it broke off. This part of the bit broke off, not not their laptop. I'm just gonna run it and see if that loosens it enough. Just be just because you take off these screws does not mean like I said before that the that these come apart real easy a lot of times when you take off all the screws they're still really tight so something it could be the battery that it's connected to so I don't really want to proceed further until I figure out why that battery is not coming out maybe it was designed that way but this is what I'm talking about so here's the keyboard and what you would do is there's the ribbon cable and you would unhook it in there and then hook it up again or if you had to replace the keyboard 
than you know obviously but although this is one big piece so sometimes the keyboards are separate you'll have a bezel around and then the keyboard will fit inside this is all one piece same thing with the the pad sometimes these pads and mice these buttons are separate this is all looks like it's one piece and what's getting in the way here I think is this this battery that is not coming out and I don't know why it's not coming out it's really strange man I took out all the screws I don't know if it's stuck is there screws underneath these stickers no because the battery it only goes this far so I'm not sure why we can try it with this tool I'm not sure why this battery is not coming out you know what I'm saying hmm this is really strange there's no release on it there's just this for your hands and let's see we can flip it over and let's see this is all one piece now there's these pla pieces of plastic on the that snap down over the 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 rest but there's no screws underneath so this is very odd this is a very odd laptop let's see I can try it again This thing isn't budging. So you flip it over one another time and I really think it's the battery that's in the way. But it's not it's not budging. Yeah, I just Oh, look at this. Now, there's no screw there, but there's a little hole here. I don't know if you can see it on camera, right there by my finger. And it's got, it's got, maybe this is the release. Yeah, it is. But I've never seen a release like this. It's got a little photo. Can you see the, the little icon? It's like you use a tool maybe you have to push down with like a that is strange I've never seen a laptop like this before in my life let's see maybe how about a a paper clip how about that I'll be right back So I happen to have paper clips and as you can see it's already bent. Now you might be wondering why that is. That's because DVD drives, even the desktop DVD drives, sometimes they get jammed and it's good to have a paper clip because even if the computer is powered off and you've got a DVD in the drive, you can just manually open up the DVD drive bay, the door, or even on a laptop. But this laptop didn't have a DVD drive. So let's try this. This is very strange to me. It, it's just... Well, what I can do is I can Google it now. So we can go out to Google because without that battery I don't think I'm gonna be able to take out the 
the keyboard because I uh, that's just I don't want to break the plastic all right so let's transition out to the internet let me close these tabs before because I got a bunch of crap open that you're probably not going to care about so we'll just close these tabs and then I'll just open up Google and then I will transition okay so Acer okay we'll move the laptop and I've got all these screws I don't want to lose them so I'm just going to put them all in the center right there I've got beige carpet so I can see the screws if I drop them okay let me get my keyboard and here we go Let's see Acer Aspire E oops E1 and then it's an E1 470p there it is right there and then I'm gonna I'm gonna Google battery removal and we'll see this is strange how to remove battery from Acer laptop E1 new model did anybody write a blog post yeah how on earth do I remove the battery from an Aspire E1572 I see no release on the laptop at all and have been trying all day to find a way without luck find the oval thingy underneath the laptop near the battery there you will find a hole drag it towards the opposite side then pull the battery this is fucking bizarre I've never ever ran across a fucking laptop like this where you had to go through this dog and pony show just to fucking remove the battery that I was kind I was correct there's an oval there's a hole but how the fuck was I supposed to know how to you know what to do with it okay so let's see I've got a thumb of I I'm thinking the paper clip is good enough it's got the oval right here and then you stick and then you pull away there you will find a hole drag it towards the opposite side oh it's a release oh duh duh it's a release all you do is place maybe even a screwdriver I feel stupid but I've never ever come across a laptop that had a release like that like I said before usually they have two on each ends releases and you pull away on each side and then pull the battery or they'll have one release but you have to press the opposite way and then pull out this thing you either have to have a screwdriver or maybe even a paper clip let me pull out the screwdriver this is fucking bizarre okay so you just place it in the hole and then push pull and then it moves you see it's a release now I should be able to take out the battery I feel fucking dumb <laughs> but I've never ever 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 ran across a laptop like this but I'm glad I googled it and I'm glad that I'm I don't think I'm narcissistic I admitted that I didn't know and so I didn't and another reason why I'm glad because I don't want to break this laptop so now I can pull it. There it goes. There it goes. That's kind of that's kind of awkward because you have to have a tool to pull the opposite side. It, it has arrows. It but the, but you know it's got like a a, a thunderbolt. <laughs> it's got a lightning bolt symbol. I can see the hole. It's got a a device. I'm assuming a screwdriver. And then it's and then it's got the arrow, but I mean it, it it points towards here, and it's got a small little image, a little a battery. But I got it out. I'm glad though. 
And then some laptops, as you can see, this one has screws underneath the battery. There, it has two. Now, I might not have to remove them. I might have to. So be aware that when you take apart laptops, always take out the battery because you do not want to work on a laptop with power, including the battery. And then sometimes these laptops have screws underneath the battery that actually attach to like the opposite side. They will they will hold down something. But I'm going to try it without taking the screws out. But I don't want to rip too much. I don't want to break anything. But it I think I probably have to take those screws. Yeah, see? You see how I'm, I'm pulling and it's not moving. So it's I probably have to take out those screws. And then I think I'm done. What? Whoops, what a pain in the ass. So there's that one. This one, these are probably smaller. These are really small. These are the type that you will lose in the carpet. You see how small it is? That is small. And we'll take out the other one. And I think we're good to go. And then all you notice all, all the screws are the same size except for the these two last ones underneath the battery. And just make sure you don't lose them because they're small. And your vacuum cleaner will pick them up for sure. Because when you run the vacuum... <laughs> All right. Oh, there it goes. Now, I barely even pulled, and there we go. That's what you want. Now, like I said before, once you remove all the screws, it doesn't necessarily mean that this comes apart like this. It only came apart that easy because I used the pick to, to loosen all corners, except for here, I noticed there was a problem. I kept tugging. It, w it wasn't moving and then I assumed that I had to take out the battery then I had to figure out that the, there's a fucking a release hole near the battery and then I saw two screws and I tried bef to get this off before but it wasn't budging now when I unscrewed those last two small screws it it literally f fell apart and I I didn't I barely had to you know pull now do not rip these apart because of this. You see the cables? Can you see that? The, the cable right there, the ribbon cable? There's the other ribbon cable for the mouse pad. They break easily and one end is made out of kind of like metal. So be careful. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt like this so that you can see and I'm going to pull apart gently and they'll they'll sit, sit there but just don't tear it just don't rip them apart. And then I'm going to take this one off first for the mouse pad just to make it easier. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get this on camera cuz these components are small. There's these little latches here next to my finger. You pull up on them. You see it pull up? Did you, you and you push down on them. They pull up to so when you take out the cable and they push down to make the cable tight. So just gently grab the cable and there it comes out. Now this is what I'm talking about. You see the ribbon cable and you can you see the metal underneath? There's plastic, but there's metal. If if the metal rips apart, if this cable rips apart, I I don't know of anybody that can can resolder these cables together. I don't know how you would do it. If let's say I yank this out and one of these little metal, there's what, there's six of them. If one of them broke, it's not going to work. I don't know how in the world I could repair that. Or even if, 
Now these cables are really strong, but I noticed the ends can get damaged. So that's why you need to be careful. And then I just leave it like that. I don't I don't need to disconnect it from this end. I don't want to because it'll make it more difficult, but you could. It's the same type of process. You pull the lever. You, you pull away to open the lever, the latch, and then you push down to make sure it's tight. And when you reseat these cables, which can fix issues, believe it or not, is that you want to make sure that these levers are pressed down because you don't want the cables to become loose. I'm not having a problem with the mouse pad, so I'm not even going to fuck with it. If it's not broke, don't fix it. What's what? There is a problem with the keyboard. It could be a loose cable, even if the cable is kind of angled wrong. So what I'm going to do is the same thing. You pull up on the on the release with your finger, I think, or this might have different type. Let me see. I think these have the ones that you pull on the side. I may not be able to get this on camera for you, but I'm trying. Yeah, there's some, let's see, I don't want to yank them out. But this is a different, it doesn't really have a release. No, it's not a release type. So let me, uh, I don't think it's there. Usually they're just like, whoops. Oh, let me, let me transition. Okay. So again, here's the cable I was talking about. And it goes right there. And there was a release. Here, let me see. It's a bit pain in the ass because there's still one ribbon cable. There's a release right, right, come on. Right there. You press down when you tighten, pull up to remove the cable. However, the keyboard doesn't have a normal release, so I have to figure this out without breaking the ribbon cable. It could be that it's attached here underneath this tape, if it is tape. And I can I can loosen it that way, but I don't want to break these ribbon cables. Because then I have to order them, and then the customer has to wait. Or I can try to figure out this release here. There's two pieces of plastic. Oh, oh okay, it's this type. There's, there's basically two types of releases. Let me try to show you on camera now. Or you know what? Let's wait. As soon as I get this, this cable out, I will show you in better detail what I'm talking about with these little releases. So you, you, there, there's releases on both sides. So you pull away on the plastic on both sides. I don't know if I can, and then boom, it comes out. Now I want to be careful of the screen. I'm going to set this aside or I, which one should I use? Let's, it doesn't matter. This is what I'm talking about with these laptops. When I work on them, there's really only two types of releases I've noticed. This is the release for the mouse pad. You notice this little release? You see it? You see how it moves up and down? So when you would slide the ribbon cable there really tight and flush. They, they're even marked. I'll show you. They're marked to help you, to guide you. There's a, usually a line. You see the, the darker line, one of these lines? You want to make sure it's straight and as close to the line as possible. When, when you, you, you notice how, how it's in there now? You notice the, the dark line? It's straight and it's, it's, it's straight and it's as close to that line as possible. And when it's like that, then it would be like that. 
you slid it in there and you see the line it's not crooked then you press down on the release and make sure it's tight and you're good to go and then there's another type of releases now sometimes the keyboards the ribbon cables on a key on a laptop keyboard they have a similar release they're just bigger but not always this one is a different type as you can tell it pushes in instead of it moving up and down instead of it being like a door or a hood what you do is you you put in the cable it's loose now you pull away from the towards away from the metal or the rest of the plastic to loosen it then you slide in the cable then when you put in the cable you push in on each side and you see you see how now it's tight and then you would press out on each side with with your fingernails or something like that and now you see how it's loose now you sh let's see move it up closer where is it at oh there we go here I can probably do it while it's right here push in on both sides with a fingernail now you now it's tight and then you just pull apart on the plastic on each side and now it's loose all right so we got this taken apart Here's the hard drive. I have to take out the hard drive because I got to do data recovery for this customer. But I'm just, in this video, it's only about the keyboard. So you would either reconnect re everything up. And th this sometimes works. Sometimes keyboards and mouse pads, they just, they're flaky. They, they, sometimes they work really good. Other times they don't. And it's the process of elimination. If you've concluded that it's not the operating system, it's not the driver's, then you go to the hardware and this is what you do you just disconnect the ribbon cables and reconnect them so we're gonna do that so just lay down the laptop be careful of the screen you know they break easily and then take the ribbon cable and then this guy is like this and sometimes I just angle it like this. I just lay it like that. And then I pull up on it. These can be a pain in the ass. Or sometimes you can just kind of set them on its, uh, on its back side. On the opposite side against the LCD. But you just want to be careful that you don't drop anything on it. You know what I'm saying? So we'll just do it like this. Now I'm going to connect this ribbon cable I may not be able to to videograph it because it's just so very not much room to work with so I'm gonna do it and let's see so you slide it in make sure there it's going I got it make sure you see how I did it I've got two fingers on each side, wh however you can do it. There might be tools that, that would help you, but make sure that, that the latches are away, that you release the plastic. Make sure that on both sides, because when you try to slide in the cable, obviously it's not going to fit. Now make sure one side is kind of, you can even push up a little bit just to make sure it's tight make sure that it's flush and not crooked then push in on the sides because you do not want this crooked you do not want it crooked okay now I'm pretty sure they're both tight and now now it's probably not gonna you know fall apart but and then double check your work you notice the white line right there can you see though let me see I might have to let me see if I can get this on camera you notice the white line right there here I'll show you 
right here there's a white line uh, and it is not crooked actually it is a little bit crooked so I'm gonna it's crooked on the left side so I'm going to loosen this and then I'm gonna press a little bit more yeah it's crooked on the, on the right hand side and then boom there now it now it's not crooked and it it's tight so we've got that done double check your work now we got this guy this then this one is a little bit different but in my opinion these are easier with the little latch doors just slide it in you you can you notice how there's blue you can grab it by the blue it it kind of lifts up so what you could do is just grab this end and then attach it this way is it on I gotta make sure it's on camera all right you would not believe what I'm doing so that I can get this on camera <laughs> all right so you got it in your hand the keyboard might move on you just be careful and then push in you notice how it's pushed in and you see the black line make sure that they're not crooked and push in and then just put it press down on the door boom on the release there double check your work they're not crooked there's two lines but the the one closest to the release door is not crooked and it's it's as close as it's gonna get you are done and what we can do is we can test let me move the keyboard back and let me put this piece of plastic back that protects it's like the bezel I think these are called bezels alright so now I'm gonna put the battery back and let me move this crap because I don't want to lose these screws per se I don't even want to have to find them on beige carpet <laughs> but but ba but losing screws on beige carpet is fucking a hundred times better than losing it on the gray corporate carpet or gray or you know black carpet so here's the battery we got that taken out so I'm just gonna boot it up and we will this guy's moving it probably won't it might fall out until I screw it put those rest of those screws or I'll just do this and then yeah okay let's put the battery back there we go and if you as you notice when I pushed in the battery the the release went the opposite direction it's in there tight and now we're gonna boot it up so I'm gonna see if my premise is correct that maybe I just needed to reconnect the cable to the keyboard so I'm gonna power it on and it's powering on the only reason why I took the ribbon cable off for the touchpad is because it made it easier to get to the ribbon cable for the keyboard sometimes you have to do that but other than that I don't fucking touch shit if it's not broke my philosophy is if it's not broke don't fix it alright so it's booting up and I will be on my way my next video will be about the hard drive I will I'm not gonna you know go through all the unscrewing of the screws and you know but everything else will be pretty close All right, so let me log in really quick. <clears throat> and let's, I don't want 
want you to know their password per se. Not that it'll, yeah, it could matter. And actually they're, yeah, we'll just do this. I'll wait until it logs in. Customer privacy. Yeah, a lot of laptops like these are a pain in the ass. When it comes to replacing the keyboards, it's usually the ribbon cables that are the biggest pain in the ass. There's just very little room. They don't have any excess length, really, some of them. They design them just enough to connect from the devices to the motherboard. And I actually have broken ribbon cables where I showed you the metal, the three contacts. I've actually broken contacts, and I had to, an or actually it was a power, one of these laptops had a power, believe it or not, the power button had a ribbon cable. All right, so we're logged in. Now I'm just going to open up Notepad, and I'm going to see if that solved the failing keyboard if it doesn't it still could be drivers and I'm gonna have to end up reinstalling Windows 10 or I'm gonna boot it into safe mode alright so we'll just test the Q nope the I mean the Q R T Y U O P A S nope the S is sticking now D F G H J K L Z Z is sticking X C C is sticking come on wow V B N M M is sticking now the C is not working at all. Oh, there it goes. I still think it could be the operating system, believe it or not. But it did not fix the issue. So, a quick another way, come on. The C just will not work. So, process of elimination it's either the hard the keyboard is bad on this laptop and I'll have to replace it if the customer wants me to on eBay and Amazon it depends on the model of laptop sometimes you can get them for ten dollars even new and but you have to take apart the laptop and you have to know what you're doing and you have to be patient just be patient don't get emotional you know I know I know you want to just smash up the laptop or you just want to throw it off the second floor the third floor the tenth floor of a building but that obviously that's not going to solve the problem <laughs> another possibility besides the laptop keyboard being no good failing intermittently is the operating system is corrupt to the point that the human interface device is not working correctly I'm I still think that's a possibility because there are missing drivers in device manager whenever I hook up a flash drive a USB drive it will not mount it overall the computer doesn't run like normal and it could be that that's why when you try to type it it's not working right now in my opinion if I didn't have any of those other problems drivers were just fine the operating system seem to be you know respond normally as well as whenever I hooked up a flash drive it would mount if I didn't have those other problems I would then deduce that it's the keyboard hard drive hardware but another thing on Windows if you think it's the drivers boot it into safe mode and then test which I will I will still do that but I can't do that because fucking the clowns at micro crap, micro slop, micro shit, micro soft disabled the advanced boot options menu all the way back probably to Windows 95 but Windows 2000 
Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7. You press the F8 key. After you powered on the computer and before Windows tried to boot, you would get into an advanced boot options menu where you could select safe mode, safe mode with networking, last good known configuration, and blah, 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 blah. Well, Windows 10, when they created Windows 10, they disabled that, but you can enable it. But you have to fucking go into, I think it's either, I think it's the local policy and enable it. And then the, I think, the, there's like two or three different ways. One way is you go into the recovery menu and then you boot it into save mode. It's like, huh? I want to enable the F8 key option. So I might make a separate video about that if I have time. So this was a video showing you how to either reconnect, disconnect, reseat the ribbon cable on a keyboard on an Acer Aspire. Aspire to have headaches taking this fucker apart. <laughs> The Acer Aspire E14070P6659. So either reseating the rim and cable or just replacing the keyboard. If you had to replace the keyboard, you would just follow the instructions. You would just follow along what I did. And you would just, you know. Although, if you notice, this keyboard is one piece. So that changes things. I'm pretty sure. Here, let me power it down and we'll take a look at that again. It's all, it's all one piece now. Which is... A lot of laptops, the keyboards are, are different. Excuse me, the keyboards are separate from the bezel. But I'm pretty sure this is all one piece. We can take a look one more time. But I want to... Here, let me make sure it's powered down. Okay, and then let me take out the battery. And do this. Bizarre. Once you do it once, you know, it's not rocket science, but all right. Now let's take a look at it again. And it's one I'm pretty sure it's one piece. I do not think that that you can well, I could be wrong. Actually, I am wrong. Oh my fucking god. There are screws here underneath. If you should be able to see them, there's a screw here. There's a screw here, here, and here's one. Oh, wait a minute. That, no, there's screws here, but, wait, let me think. No. It looks like it might come apart, but I'm trying to figure out how. You'd have to take these two ribbon cables, you'd have to disconnect them again. And then, ooh, evey. I don't know it. Eh. The keys are separate. The keys press down. So there's holes for the keys that are separate from this bezel, which is the entire frame of this plastic. So maybe there could be, I'm looking for some screws. Or do you press in on the... Do they snap in? Boy, I don't know, man. That's another thing I'd have to Google. I don't want to bore you with that. That could be another problem. Is trying to figure out how the fuck... Do I replace the keyboard on this if it's not... One piece. Because if you notice... The mouse pad is here. And the touch pad... And then underneath, I don't, this is where it's at. There's a circuit board here and the ribbon cable connects to the motherboard. I don't see any screws here. Now there's this tape. I don't, I'm not sure what that tape, it's not going to be taped in. That would be ridiculous. But you notice there's these little punch holes, which I thought were screws, but I look closer and they're not. I don't know. And there's even, here's where the, the, right here these red the red tabs or whatever pieces of, that's where the mouse the buttons are for the mouse so I don't know if you can even replace the mouse pad 
and the keyboard without replacing this entire fucking piece, the entire bezel. From the way it looks, probably not, but I'd have to research that. Adios! Oh, now it doesn't want to stop recording with my function keys.